So you guys know, obviously we've been going through our infertility journey for years now. If you've ever done that, you know you're willing to try anything and figure out what could be the thing that's causing it not to happen and not to be successful. Okay, so this is like an at-home vaginal like health kit that'll show you if there's anything going on down there. Um, so I'm gonna do this now and then when I get results, I'll obviously come back and share. Okay, so I just finished. I know this isn't the best angle, but I don't know how else to film one here. It had all the instructions on here and tells you exactly what to do, and then it comes with everything you need. You put the sample back in here, and it's a pre-labeled box that you can seal up, and then you send it out to USPS. And I'm pretty sure the results come in a couple days. Um, but even if you're not trying to conceive, this is just a good thing for overall health to kind of know where you're at. Your vaginal health is a big deal and it can affect so much, you know, with hormones and everything like that. Um, and yeah, it's all sealed up. And then it comes with this little sticker to put on there. And then I'll go drop it off and then we will hopefully get our results very soon. Perfect. Taylor? Hi. This is Karen. I'm one of the health coaches here with Evie. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. That was incredibly overwhelming. I'm stressed. Okay, that was like a lot of really helpful information, obviously, but just like very overwhelming because a lot of the information was stuff I'm hearing for the very first time and trying to understand and trying to learn. So here's one thing that I learned. I don't know if you knew that there are vaginal pH test strips to test your pH level, which obviously, you know, as women, so much of stuff affects our pH, um, one being literal semen from men. So especially when you're trying to conceive, that messes with your pH, which can mess with other things. I think in my case, like, I don't fully want to share my results because I just feel like that's weird to get that honest with you. Um, but I will say that, like, I was pleasantly surprised because you're supposed to have good and bad bacteria for one in your gut you're supposed to have good and bad bacteria in your vaginal microbiome i hope i'm saying all the words correctly um and obviously you want like mainly good bacteria to fight off the bad bacteria but you also need a little bit of bad bacteria because that's whatever it's just the way it is so all this information was very overwhelming but i did find out that it seems like i'm in a pretty good place like i had a very healthy overall vaginal health I guess so I'm not too concerned and I don't have any like red flags necessarily like I don't have any symptoms of anything that I would be concerned about but if anything like I just felt very overwhelmed and I was kind of like well I just feel like I need to do some research and so she kind of was like we'll just start with the pH test just to kind of test my pH and you can do that on like a regular schedule and it's really easy to do supposedly so i'm going to start with that and just get used to doing that and then at that point if your ph is too high or too low then you can like treat it with suppositories etc etc so anyway that's kind of where i'm going to start but this was very helpful um and she did confirm which i've heard that obviously if like your bacteria is off in your vaginal microbiome then that can mess with fertility for sure and it can mess with like the health of a pregnancy so even if you did get pregnant it could result in complications or what was the thing i forgot the word she said oh there was a word i can't remember but anyway it can mess with like the quality of the pregnancy um so 
I don't know, I'm personally not super concerned with my numbers. I don't think I'm gonna necessarily treat anything because the bad bacteria was so low in my opinion. Um, we will see. I might change my mind after I take these pH tests, but I'm gonna start with that. And I think even if you're not trying to conceive, this is like a really helpful thing to do because everyone should know the health of their body. But holy cow, that was so much information. Um, but she was very friendly and they send over like the notes of your call so you can like go back and reference things. They give you links and everything. Like that's how I found these pH tests. Um, they send you links to things to buy that they recommend, um, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, this is a smooth process. I basically sent in my test and then I wanna say like literally a week later, maybe it was a couple weeks later. It's been like a month since I started the video cause I've just taken forever to get back to it. But um, you just take your test, you send in the, the results and then they'll let you know when they received it at the lab and then they let you know when your test is ready. And then I basically, like you get like a portal, which I'm gonna see what I can show you here. So you get like this portal um, and then like when you scroll down is when it'll show you like your microbiome results and stuff, which Again, I feel like it's just like kind of weird <laughs> to show you mine. I feel like it's a little personal, um, but it'll show you like how much good bacteria you have, how much bad bacteria you have, if anything was um, tested. They also test for like STIs and stuff like that, which I am clear of, um, and other bacteria. They'll just let you know if anything was detected, how much percentage of it was detected, positive, negative, whatever, all that kind of stuff. And so yeah, it's very like in depth, but I will have all the information for it um, in the caption if you are interested in checking them out. Mm -hmm.